Hello, how are you guys doing? I hope you're doing good. I wanted to come up here and make this video because of everything that's happening right now in this world. And just to encourage you, continue to seek the Lord and to really take him seriously in this time. Because the truth is, Jesus is coming back soon and we need to be ready for his return. You can look around the world right now. It seems like time is going by so fast and things are happening at a rapid level. That is because Jesus is really coming back soon and we need to be ready and stay prepared for his return. When I first gave my life to Jesus, I had a rapture dream. First, before that, in real life, I remember I first got saved and I was telling certain people about Jesus, but I wasn't really evangelizing like that to a lot of people because fear was still trying to attack me i was caring what other people might think about me so even certain family members i wouldn't be talking to like that about the gospel because of fear and a lot of other things but during that time i went to sleep one night and i remember being in my kitchen at my house and i was just doing my thing minding my own business and all of a sudden i looked outside of the window that's in my kitchen and i saw the sky the sky had a crack in it and for some reason immediately i knew that this was the rapture and that people need to give their life to jesus right now or else it will be too late for them so i remember taking out my phone as soon as I saw the sky, this all happened in like a split second. So I saw the sky and immediately I knew what it was as soon as I seen it. And I took out my phone and I was about to start texting the people that I love, telling them to give their life to Jesus. But it was so fast. The rapture was so fast that I didn't even have time to even text anybody. As soon as I seen it, it's like I got taken up. I went to the sky with a whole bunch of people and it transitioned to now us being on a spaceship. If you ever been on a plane or seen how the plane is set up, you know how they be having like rows on each side of the plane? Like you have some people on this road you have the other people on that road it was kind of like that but it was weird because it was a spaceship i'm not saying this is how the rapture is going to be but this is what i saw in a dream and i think it meant something so on this spaceship i saw a whole bunch of people everybody matter of fact had on a white garment and they had gold belt on kind of like a belt but it wasn't really a belt but they had something gold around their waist and they had something gold around their wrist as well nobody there was old everybody there was young and everybody seemed to be happy and joyful and everything was going fine i saw this man on the spaceship that seemed to be god and everything and next thing you know the dream switched to now me being in a castle i looked around me and i saw my mother but i didn't see other people that i loved that i wanted to be up here and immediately i just knew it was too late for them and i just got on my knees and i started weeping for them and crying and crying because i was heartbroken that these people didn't sorry y'all the camera turned off i got on my knees and immediately i started weeping and weeping and i just saw this man coming towards me and i knew that he was the prince of the castle and that everything obeyed him in there and he came towards me all of a sudden just wiped away my tears and that remind me of the scripture that says in revelation that god will wipe away all of our tears and after all of that happened i just woke up from the dream and when I woke up, it felt like God put a fire in me. And immediately, I started to be grateful that I had an opportunity on earth to minister to my loved one for us to go to heaven. It is a privilege for us to be here and minister to people and get souls saved for the kingdom of God. So that when the rapture does happen, that those people are not left behind. So the reason why I'm sharing this dream is to encourage all of us here for us to really take this seriously and really take time to minister to our loved ones and tell them about Jesus. And not only just that, but also for us to take our relationship with God seriously because in this time and in these days a lot of stuff that are happening if you're not connected to the Lord then you will not be able to make it you have to be deeply rooted in the word of God you have to be grounded in the word of God doing the things that God has called you to do so that you can be prepared when that day does come so I just want to encourage you with that to not be ashamed of the gospel and if you are somebody and you feel like man I don't know if I'm saved I don't know if the rapture happened I don't know if I'm going to heaven the bible says that we have all sinned and fallen short of the glory of god the wages of sin is death 
but the free gift of God is eternal life to Jesus Christ our Lord. And whosoever call upon his name shall be saved. And if you want to be saved and accept Jesus into your heart and know that you're going to heaven, I want you to repeat this after me. The Bible says if you believe in your heart and confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord, that you will be saved. So believe in your heart and confess, with, and confess this with me and say, Dear Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Forgive me of my sin. I believe that you are the Son of God who died for me and rose again from the dead. Fill me with the Holy Spirit and use me for your glory. I'm saved. I'm born again. I'm going into heaven because I have Jesus in my heart. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. If you pray that prayer sincerely and you believe it with all your heart, I want to let you know that God really heard you and he forgave you and that you are on your way to heaven. And if you pray that prayer, I want you to come down and amen, I pray. And now the next step is to really get deeper into the word of God. Take the Bible and start reading and surround yourself with a good community of believers who will help you. And if you are looking for a community of believers where you can fellowship and really just talk to God about, I want you to DM me on my Instagram. The link will be in the description. But yeah, God bless you. I hope this message was able to encourage you to continue to move forward and not look back. In Jesus' name, amen.